to the Rochester Select Board um, meeting. I can't hear anyone. Oh, there it goes. Thank you. March 11th, 2024, it's 6.15 p.m. Um, to comply with open meeting law, we have posted the agenda in three places around town. We have placed it on our website, and we have emailed all persons that had interest in knowing about the agendas and the meetings. <coughs> yes. Um, first thing on our list is approving prior meeting minutes. Um, we can go back to select board meeting minutes way back in February 26, 2024. Um, I have read the, min the minutes, and if Frank has read them, agrees with them, we can approve them. Yep. Second. <coughs> approve. Aye. Aye. <laughs> On that same evening, we had a pre-town meeting. I have read those minutes. They seemed accurate. So I move that we accept those. I second that. All in favor? Aye. 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 We had a special select board meeting on March 1st, but since Dune is not here and Frank wasn't there, um, we're going to skip this one and catch up with it in our next meeting. <coughs> full board or whoever we have. <clears throat> so that moves us right along to um, should we take on our guests or move into new business? <clears throat> I'll go right to the grant discussion for the AED. Number, I think that's why. Uh, number two on our James list is grant discussion Bob, right? for AED. Um, is there someone here to speak on that? I believe, well, Martha. Um, I'm not speaking on that, but I, I'm sorry, but I don't know what the AED stands for. Neither do I. We'll let Auto Janice tell us. Automatic. Electrofibrillation <coughs> device or something like that. Defibrillator. No, I've had it a couple Dan, times. you're on mute. I'm not sure if you're no. here to speak on this. Seven times. <coughs> you had one on you? No. Oh. <laughs> but I've Automated had it seven times. I don't use them. Automated external defibrillator. Thank you. Okay. Should I go ahead? Yes, please. So I wrote the grant to Ben and Jerry's and I got a letter on the 6th saying uh, that they approved it. So they approved $1,500. I sent a message to Dune, but I didn't ever, I ne never heard back and I understand he's away. Yes, he is. Out of the country. Yep. Yeah. So the AEDs can cost up to a little over 2000 So my question is, can the town kick in the balance? Do you want to do the shopping? Do you want me to do the shopping? How does that work? How long is the grant available to us? They, they, the check might be in the mailbox today. I don't we know. I haven't been the down. check today. Hmm. So oh, I you got it. Okay. Yeah. okay. So, so I need. How much was it for? Excuse me. $1,500, Martha. Thank you. Thank you. Sorry to bother you. Sorry. So I definitely need all supporting documents and anything that you would have to support that, Janice. You mean the grant or you mean? Yeah, 100%. Like all everything that you sent in or the request that you made, any sort of correspondence that you have, I need all of that to go along with that check. Okay, I just sent them an email asking for the money. That's fine. Um, if you could just send it on to me and then you said you got a letter, if I could have a copy of that too, please. Well, I don't know if I got a letter. I haven't been down to the mailbox, but they said they were sending the check and I should have got it by now. So when I get it, I'll let you know. Okay, so as for the shopping, um, we, we, we certainly trust your expertise and um, you would probably um, be looking to buy the best unit you can as close to $1,500 as you can. Um, so once you have some proposals 
for purchasing, um, come on back to us and uh, okay, we'll, well see if we can squeeze it I, in. I talked to Sally Roberts over at Werba and at the school they have one, it's Z-O-L-L, Zoll. And when we, the shelter team did our training for CPR and AED, it's the Zoll is what they use. It's very easy to follow. And it also can communicate with the Werba ambulance. So they can read the strip en route and know what's going on. So I want to try to get us all. Is that the one that you know is $2,000 or $2,500? Yeah, it depends on which website you look. I was trying to find, I was told that somebody might be able to, one of the ambulance companies might be able to get me a discount, but they won't do it at Werba. So I'm still looking around. Okay, remember we're uh, tax exempt. Yep. Well, I'll, I'll get Kristen the information and um, start looking. Well, congratulations. Anybody that can get a grant based on an email? Wow, that's good work. <laughs> you just have to know what, you just have to know what words to say. <laughs> All right, be careful. We'll come at you again. Do you have, Terry, do you have any access to I would. I'd probably go through Warwa. So yeah. Just yeah. curious, because you you would be the one. We to... right. We have one, and that's it. I mean, I'm. You you and, have one at the firehouse. Yeah. Yeah. Then pick up. Then pick up. Yep. Yeah. Do you know what brand it is, Terry? Not right offhand. Okay. Maybe we should keep them similar, if we could. I would think yeah. you'd want to go with what Warva has because you know that's what they're teaching, and that's be the best lesson yeah. to learn. Yeah. yeah, is that she she suggested that? Is that where you got yeah. yours through them? You Originally, know? I no, it's been. It's been power is quite old. Warva fixes it. Yeah, we send it over every couple of years, and they go through it. Oh, okay. But I'm sure it's not the newest model. Okay, so uh, we have a plan in place for this. Let's move forward. Thank you, Jan. You're welcome. Good. <clears throat> the third item on our list is permission for 100 on 100 August 10th from 1.30 to 5 o'clock passing through, and they haven't provided the insurance. Do you have that? Is there something we sign on that? Just okay. they want to have um, permission to be able to come through town. So right. this is a, a bicycle race or running race? I think it's bicycle. It's, it's hundred, running, hundred should yeah, be bikes, right? Hundred on hundred. It's, 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 it's running. Relay race. It's, it's running. running. It's running. It's running. <laughs> yeah. So, um, I have no problem. We approve it every year. It doesn't yeah. seem to disrupt the town. Um, their placement of checkpoints is that one that has. We're going to use the school parking lot. Yep, That's and cool. that was fine by us in the past. So I see no reason to not approve that. And welcome to run through our town on August. <laughs> but don't they have to go to the school? Yes. Yes. Gonna, we just said yep, that. They, to they usually do. They they uh, do this every year. And we'll move on to number four, park use application, May 24th through October 4th for the Rochester Farmer's Market to take place from 3 to 6 p.m. Um, I do have the application in front of me. Is there any discussion? Aisha. Um, you asked last year, you asked me to provide also the vendor rules just to, for you to have a clear idea of what mm -hmm. is expected of the vendors. So I attached that. You did. I got them. <laughs> um, the other thing is insurance. Um, that's still, uh, we have to wait for a few um, vendor fees to come in so that we can pay for the insurance. But I can give you a copy of the insurance as soon as I have that available because um, we pay for insurance every year. Sure. Um, it's uh, last year, actually, I think, because we pay to have EBT um, at the market to have that program. Uh, last year, just at the market alone, uh, there was $3,500 of local produce and goods that were purchased through the EBT program at the market. Well, people in so, need are getting yeah. good food. Yeah. Um, yeah. Awesome. Awesome. Um, 
Anybody else have any comments on this? I move that uh, we accept the farmer's market use of the park um, every Friday from May 24th to October 4th, 2024. Second, Second it. All in favor? All right. And we can sign this. Yeah. I'll put my name right here. You can put your name there. Uh, usually only one of us sign it. Sign those. Yeah, but we yeah. don't want us to share. Yeah. <clears throat> well, thank you. I hope we have a very good season. Not as much rain as last year. You can make that happen. I agree. <laughs> the mud right now wouldn't be welcome. <laughs> Okay, park use uh, application May 31st through October 4th for the library summer reading program from 3 to 5. This also takes place on Friday afternoon. It coincides with the farmer's market. Um, I understand this, is, this works in good harmony for parents to go shopping and uh, the kids get together with other kids and have a blast. So um, I believe this takes place over more towards the gazebo? Yes, yes, they put their advertising in the market and then the, uh, we leave a space open for them to go through the gazebo. So it sounds perfect to me, a great compliment to the farmer's market, and I move that mm -hmm. we accept this application for town park use. Mm, second it. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Oh look, it's another park use application. <coughs> this one is for a specific day. Um, it happens to be the same day as the 100 race. Um, it's August 10th, 2024, but this one's from noon to 2.30, and it will be a family concert with the band called Busy Morning Band. Um, it is sponsored by the library. So, um, boy, it's, August seems a long ways off, but it's right around the corner. Um, I see no reason for this event not to take place. It's just a two and a half hours. They're two hours, Pat. 12 to 2.30, it says. But they're probably allowing for cleanup. Oh, on that? Um, yeah. On our agenda, it's only just two. Just two, sorry. Oh, that's all right. And um, I move that we approve this one. I second that. All in favor? Aye. Right. Rochester Public Library August 10th event is approved. We have a calendar. Yes. I can <laughs> write those on the calendar because we've got, there's one in September now, I know. And, yeah, and Lord knows if someone wants to get there. married at the same time in the park. Is, yeah, we need to keep track of that. Uh, moving right along to number seven on our list. Um, Martha Slater is with us, and she'd like to have a discussion about the 4th of July. Um, if you can hear me, uh, 4th of July go, comes on a Thursday this year. And um, basically every year for the past 20 some odd years, I've been just getting, I have to get permission from you to organize the event. I've talked to Becky Donay, and it looks like she's pretty sure Pierce Hall is going to be doing their chicken barbecue as usual. I talked to... Um, um, several people about music and um, Michaela Richardson told me that she was interested in organizing a group to do um, games for kids and things. So there'd be, you know, it very, it's the usual thing with various activities on the park and, and the parade going through and everything. And maybe I can get Bernie to come again this year. Who knows? But no, you um, never know. But um, yeah, he's come several times. So anyway, mm -hmm. I would just like permission I have. And any, if anybody has some good ideas for my theme this year, Last year's theme was hometown happiness, and I'm I still haven't thought thought up of a theme yet. But the reason I asked permission this early is because I discovered that the company that I ordered a porty potties from and stuff like that you need to know like months in advance because they get everything all you know booked up in the summer. So um, if if I could have permission um, to um, start organizing the Fourth of July um, 
a, a parade, et cetera. Again, I, I would like it. Thank you. Well, I move that we uh, approve the use of the park and give permission to Martha to start organizing the 4th of July parade. Who second that? All in favor? Mm. Aye. Aye. Martha, go for it. <laughs> Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. I know there's a lot of work involved there. Number eight on our list. This is relining the parking lot at the town office here to accommodate more parking. And Susie Smolin is here to visit with us on that subject. Uh, hi. Uh, my, I want to start with a question. Has this, has there been discussion prior to tonight about the idea of, of changing, changing the, the the way the parking lot is used. Specifically, um, we all know that there is a challenge for parking between the businesses and residents, visitors. Um, and it seems to me that there could be another row of parking down the middle here. I don't know if it would be single or double. And my other thought is, is just the area beside the brook, uh, there are occasions where cars actually do pull in per perpendicular to the brook. Um, and the only active use of that area is for people to take their dogs to do their business. So perhaps, you know, it could be extended a, a little bit if need be to accommodate more parking, but even a single line would allow another nine cars. A double line would allow 18 cars. And an additional four or five on the other side. It would make a huge difference. And then there perhaps could be a municipal parking sign up on Route 100. It would take a lot of pressure off the, the town's uh, parking shortage. Well, I'm going to point towards the ladies that work at the town and see if they have an opinion on if there's a congestion problem, a lack of parking spaces, or people fighting over parking spots out there. I know it's probably been 10 to 15 years since we extended the parking lot. Well, it's been a long time since it's been re reconfigured and paved, that's for sure. So. Um, um, I don't see would that we do it's... lines before we did more pavement? I, I wouldn't want to even put lines on it at this point. It just doesn't make a whole lot of sense because it really needs a good paving project and it's 40 grand probably to pave that, I would guess, somewhere around that. Well, I only just, bring... I... Just the uh, town office, town garage alone was 37000 and that was hardly half the size of this. Mm -hmm. So well, I, I, I bet we'd be looking at forty to 50000 just to pave the parking lot. <clears throat> That's my, my thought. I would say when the time comes, which is, like Frank is saying, is shouldn't be too, too much in the future except for finding the money to do it, um, that would be the time to think about reconfiguring mm -hmm. the parking okay. and I, um, do lines. I, I'm pro I was prompted to, to, to bring up this inquiry because um, I've been involved in, in uh, a number of conversations about, uh, you know, just parking for the hardware and for Maple Soul and for Town Clerk and for the grocery store and for the cafe. Um, there, there's been a a, a lot expressed about how difficult it is for the tenants above the cafe, the tenants above the hardware store, um, you know, et cetera. So I, I was just curious if it had ever been considered and if it could be considered. So. Well, the last time it was considered, it, the parking lot was enlarged. So. Uh -huh. But you don't have any overnight anyway. No. It's no, not no. overnight, right? No. So tenants would be so, out of question. Yeah, right. nor, nor, nor would we. Um, what we might be able to do is uh, put it on Google Maps that it is a municipal parking lot, uh -huh. and but that's really just going to alleviate people that are driving through 
um, you know, and want to stop in town, they'll see there's, if there's no parking out on Route 100, they mm -hmm. can come here and park and walk through town. Yeah. Um, and just let people know that that is a public space for them to, right. to park. Yeah, well, that's part of why um, <clears throat> I'm asking, because if I TI, I TI, people are coming back to the office, and often that double row there is completely full. Mm -hmm. um, so it really doesn't leave room for much of anything else, but, okay, well, thank you. I think we also have public parking uh, down by where the EV charging stations are. That's also a public parking lot as well. I know, but walking on the road into town isn't the most comfortable thing. I mean, if there were a sidewalk there, which is also incredibly expensive, I, I'm not, <laughs> not suggesting it, but... Um, well, there is sidewalk there all the way down there. There is pretty well. Pretty close. Pretty close. Pretty close. It, is. it is all the way. It is all the way. It's wide yeah. on the... On the this side. Oh, okay. Yep. Excellent. So yes, we'll revisit this again when the time is right. Parking has always been an issue in the town and when ITI redid their building it was an issue before the zoning board then. Mm -hmm. um, but it was felt that there's very few places in town that can really comply with the parking ordinance anyway. Uh, apartment houses, what the Cafes done over there probably alleviates a lot of their parking. You're supposed to have two parking spaces for every apartment. So um, when ITI did their business over, built that big addition there, we overlooked the parking because of the jobs that it would create for the, yes. for the people in town. So mm -hmm. that was an issue that came up and we just uh, looked at it like the municipal parking lot is free parking first come, first serve, mm -hmm. and that's the way we, we looked at that. I think you have to also be concerned about people who are coming <coughs> here to do work and making sure that they have enough parking spaces. Uh, right. Mm -hmm. and, but we don't, they're, they're just permitted to park there. There's no written agreement. It's just free parking for whoever. No, I'm, not, I'm talking about over here for town right. office work. Oh, we have yeah. signs on this side that say yeah. town yeah. office parking. Mm -hmm. Right. I've never had a problem finding a parking spot here. But. To be continued. Okay, thank you. Okay, next on our list of wonderful things to do, we're up to um, the, the town of Rochester is, is blessed with a lot of assistance with uh, people that are appointed to positions. Um, Dune is not here tonight, so we're going to um, tackle a few of the positions so that the list is, sometimes it takes us an hour to get through all the appointments. So we're going to tackle some of them. Um, the attitude being, these are ones that are essential people to run the town, so we want to get them reappointed, comfortable in their positions. And uh, next time we have a full board, we will tackle the rest of them. So, um, we did some on here too. Oh, <clears throat> so, out of our appointments, so skipping down to um, water commissioners and sewer commissioners. Um, the appointments for that are the select board members. So, I move that we appoint the select board members as water commissioners and sewer commissioners for a one year term ending 2025. Seconded. Paul in favor? Right. Aye. Got the job. Thank you. Thank you. Good luck. Plant your seats. It's time. <laughs> Sewer plant operator. I nominate Terry Severy for a one year term that would expire in 2025. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Sewer plant operator assistant. I nominate Cody Bowen for a one-year term expiring 2025. Second it. All in favor, aye. aye. Um, water plant operator, <laughs> I nominate Terry Severy for a one-year term ending 2025. Second it. All in favor, aye. Aye. Water plant operator assistant, I nominate Cody Bowen for a one-year term ending 2025. Second it. All in favor, aye. aye. 
um, on-site wastewater officer. I'm not sure he's ever really done anything like this, but <laughs> um, I nominate Dune Hendricks um, and for a one-year term ending 2025. Seconded. All in favor, aye. aye. Granville First Response Representative, which I think maybe we would just want to say Valley Rescue Squad re Representative. Yep, um, I've got notes on that. I'd like to um, nominate Rob Gardner to continue in that role for a one-year term ending in 2025. I second that. All in favor, aye. Aye. Uh, tree Warden. We, the select board, I nominate us as the tree wardens for the town um, for a one-year term ending in 2025. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Energy coordinator, Jeff Gephardt, to continue and doing a wonderful job that he has been for a one-year term ending in 2025. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. Recycling coordinator. I nominate Julie Smith for a one-year term ending in 2025. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. Park committee, that is the select board. As you can see, we approve this and that. So I nominate the select board as the park committee for a one-year term ending in 2025. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. And the last one we have for tonight, there will be more later, Animal Control Officer, Humane <coughs> Officer, I nominate Jeff Brown to continue in his role in a one-year term ending in 2025. Seconded. All in favor? Aye. Aye. That does not cover them all, so if you were appointed, you, you were saying, hey, how come I didn't get appointed? We're going to wait until we have more of a, on a, a select board to do the appointing. And if there's anybody out there that's interested in being appointed to anything, please let us know. Because <laughs> we would certainly like to have more people involved if we can so do it. And there's a, there's a list in the town report where you can look through and see what's available. And if you want to join, let Julie know. And that'd be great if we could get a some people involved. Now it's time for our departmental reports. Do we have anyone from the library? We don't um, have no. We do have someone from the highway department, though. Hi, Frank. Yeah. Hi, Cooter's at it. He's <laughs> at it. Plowing, <laughs> mudding it, doing what they have to do. Well, they had a good rest <laughs> for a whole month. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's a hard, it's not easy on equipment, that's mm -hmm. for sure. Mm -hmm. And I'm sure they're sick of it. Okay, so we are still expecting the roads to be posted at some point? I would say. And that's up to John. I, I don't know if he's going to do it this year. I think he's gone and talked to the people and said it does just as... It's a lot of work to post every road in town, too. And I, I think, you know, he's... This I don't early plan. season. I mean, he knows which ones to go see. He just go right. see the people. Right. Post everything. Post right. And I, and I think it's probably... Yeah. Well, some towns <laughs> just post right it on their website and don't put the signs up on the road. Yeah. Right. And this year is probably the year that he probably wouldn't post anyway. A lot of the roads were pretty well thought out there yeah, for a while. see the difference at the Granville Town Line. Yeah. <laughs> By God. Yeah. The roads, the roads I, I feel, are in pretty good shape. Yeah, there's some bad spots out there, but as a whole, I think they Yeah, they're, they're I have heard good. a lot of thumbs up about yeah. our roads. Yep. So that's uh, really a good thing. Okay. So. Well, that was a fun road report from the commissioner. Yeah, for a change. <laughs> Uh-oh, here comes the utilities operator. What do you have for us today? Nothing right now. You, okay. Are you working on uh, fees? Rate increases? Yeah. Looking at but that. There's no sense doing it until Doom's by it. Right, okay. exactly. We will forward I agree that. With that. And then we'll be doing a spring walk around next month, so. Yeah. Depending on now when the snow goes. <laughs> yeah. They say we could get another storm next week, I heard. <clears throat> First day of spring. But they don't they don't know it's coming up the it'd be coming up the coast. So who knows? I just yeah. Yeah. Thank you. I'll yeah. just get a hold of Du Bois King because we said that we didn't have to 
think we entered a three-year contract with them last year. Yeah, I think so. Instead of trying to do every year because they wouldn't get their paperwork out and then half the time they were late getting there. So if we don't get it done in April, we kind of get a little nasty note from the state. It's been different. I've seen a lot of years we couldn't do it in April because there was still snow where they'd been plowed. So, but we'll see. Okay. Do we have a Jeff Gephardt for energy coordinator? No. He's still recuperating. Mm -hmm. What's that? How's he doing? Well, He's doing pretty well, actually, good. considering. Yeah. He was pretty fortunate, really. Okay, grant updates. Um, I took care of what I needed to with Jan, and I've already received her email, so that's great. And other than that, waiting on FEMA. Yeah, I said that. Yeah. Okay, and is there any discussion about the LHMP, the Local Hazard Just Mitigation Plan? That we received the uh, BRIC grant from the state we were awarded. Brick building resilient in, in structure and committees. Brick. Everything's coming. So, and then there's um, it requires signature so that I can send it back and start the next step. Okay. Let's get it going. And then you'll give that to me for the book. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Everything's in there. Uh, we are the sub recipient. Today's day. Three of them. Move it along. Thank you. Also, we have, um, we're just making a statement with this as an announcement that um, there will be an open meeting law for boards and committees. Um, there's a lot of committees in this town. This is not, this does not just apply to the select board. Um, this open meeting law applies to a lot of committees, commissions. The only thing I think that's exempt from, it, from this is a task force, like Hawaii Five-O. So, um, uh, there is there is this April 17th at 10 a.m. to 11:30 a.m. Um, there is a small cost for it, but it is it is very valuable to keep your mouth out of trouble and to stay with the open meeting laws. Um, you really don't want to be in violation of those laws when you're making meetings and, and decisions. So we're just going public saying we recommend this class to everyone. You go into it. Um legislature also changed some rules yes so that's why this is really important to attend yes a little bit in our favor they get to cut us a little bit of stuff so like if people need the link or whatever they can just reach out to you and yep, then and they can, can register and mm -hmm. sign up for it yeah it's sponsored um, by vlct so i'm understanding that this is via zoom this is not in person uh yes okay so we can get the link from by calling the town office yeah, it doesn't say what platform it's on, but I'm sure it probably is. Um... Okay, thank you. Um, as a comment for town meeting, I would like to thank all who attended town meeting, and especially those who voted for me. I will do all I can to serve one and all. Thank you so much. Um, you don't get to say that at town meeting, so I'd like to take that opportunity. And with that said, I think we're open for public comment. I have a comment. Bring it on, yes. It was really difficult at town meeting to not be able to hear. And the equipment that was being used was really not in good shape. I think we should take some ARPA money and buy some proper um, equipment so that we can use it here. It could be used on the select board table. It could be used to pass around. <clears throat> I don't know how much it costs, but. 
Well, I one just thing think... I noticed that the light bulbs were in great shape because we yeah. couldn't see anything from the stage yeah. into the crowd. Kirk White might as well have not come. Yeah, that the mic was cutting out a lot. I did notice that if you held it to your mouth, it would work just fine. Mm -hmm. But the minute they dropped just a little bit, it's out. It dropped yeah. out. And 99% yeah. of the people that yeah. use yeah. the equipment exactly. don't know how to use it, and yeah. then they forget. Well, yeah. maybe in the future we need to advise that to use this equipment, you've got to really keep it, it close to your mouth if or you want it, people to hear. Yeah. Well, I don't even know who owns that equipment. I, Chris, I have no idea. Christine but, uh, said that the batteries, the AA batteries, yep. were all dying, and they were in the back running around trying to find AA batteries. They didn't have them. That's happened so before. I will make sure we have them for the next meeting. Or yeah. get our own Why equipment. Why not? Just Change them. Change them. <laughs> well, yeah, I, I think they don't last. Right. Yeah, yeah, I don't know. So you know they, they were. Um, that would be the smart thing to do. That yeah. guy's. It was like his personal. Oh, Wildwood. Yeah. Jake Wildwood. Yeah. Those They're, were like his mics. Those were his. That's yeah. yeah. Well, in the future, we could definitely supply the batteries and just make sure they're. In. Well, it also comes down to the select board. You cannot hear the select board talking into the audience. So oh, really? having uh, having microphones that could be passed back and forth on the table would be helpful too. Well, the two mics that were there certainly. I thought I, don't know if I they thought we work were working well. good. I, I didn't know. Yeah. Couldn't tell. It wasn't bad, but it wasn't good. Well, we'll take it under advisement. <laughs> and it won't make any difference as to whether you you. We're gonna we're going to need to uh, flag off the seats and tell everybody they have to sit up front because they won't. We're going to need to use some for park cleanup, I think. <laughs> it's got a lot of debris on the park <laughs> some this year. Kids off and, uh, you know, even when the, when the snow goes, uh, there's going to need to be a lot of cleanup there, the raking and everything. It's going to be expensive. The Christmas tree fell over. <laughs> no, I took it down. Oh, the took little, it down. little league enough. kids don't well, do what it anymore. What did you expect so. me to do? Go get it? <laughs> did you light it over? No, I took well, it down and left it. Oh, I know. NRF. They did everywhere else. Well, it's not going to be in the next meeting. Yeah, I don't know. It did everywhere else. Yeah. Oh, there was a lot of trees down yesterday. Or glad glad you didn't get one of our new ones. Oh, boy. <laughs> it was close. I wouldn't have looking at that. <laughs> that was close. Anything else? I call a meeting be adjourned. I second that. Jesus. Patent in record time. Aye. Hey, you know, don't drag it.